Right, finding your calories, finding your maintenance calories. Now there are different equations out there that you can use. There's a Harris Benedict, there's a Mueller equation. There's those two which I tend to use. I use more the Mueller equation because it takes into account lean body mass, body fat and age and sex and all this sort of stuff. But there are other ways that you can do it. Now if you want a really, really simple way to do it, it takes a little bit longer. Track your food for about two weeks, okay? Make sure you weigh yourself every morning as you're tracking your food. Now, if you find that your uh, weight is still going up as you're tracking that food and it's quite consistent, okay, you're in a calorie surplus. If you want to bring it down, uh, once you bring it down and you find your, your weight levels, that's when you find your maintenance calories, okay? And obviously, if you're doing that and you're losing weight on it, you're in a calorie deficit. So that is a simple way to do it. It does take a little bit longer. It takes a little bit of patience to go with it. And as I said, if you are going up in weight over that time, I get it can be a bit of a mind fuck, but it'll be the truest way that you can do it, okay? With the other equations, they are equations. They get you in the ballpark of it. And obviously with my clients, we make adjustments as we go, as we do our check-ins each week to make sure we're in sort of the ballpark of that. But guys, that's an easy way to do it. Um, if you have any questions, send me a message or email me. Um, but other than that, guys, that is an easy way to make sure you find out what your calorie should be for your goal.